Hello everybody and welcome to another NHL 13 Sims of the day. Tonight's matchup is between the Washington Capitals and the Carolina Hurricanes. And we will we have some injuries in both teams. Some players, Mike Green is off, Brooks Like is off. Cam Ward is injured for uh, Carolina, so is uh, Chad LaRose who, uh, who got the concussion. We got um, Toy Muruto or Yaku. Yeah, one Ruto is it, yeah. <laughs> in any case. So, um, Dan Ellis in goal, probably. And Holtby, probably in the other net. But uh, capitals, I, I'm still I'm still sticking to my prediction that they won't make it to the playoffs. After in the beginning I made that statement, frankly because they are not looking too good. I I'm still saying they need to trade. I'm st I don't think they have the players material to win it. I think they got nice players but player like Semin is with all those goals and all this say everybody can talk about his work rate but the goals you lose are goals you lose. It's like people maybe talk about Sikora not baby doing is that amazing player who played uh, uh, in uh, Delvis last season but he did but he still got over 20 goals that season you just don't get that so easily even though he getting older you don't get that easily and we have Semin who tried to de Carlson but got knocked over easily So, that pass, Backstrom, and it's turned over. Jordan Stahl with it, who got through the nice trade with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Brower, turn over to McBain. McBain trying to reach Dwyer, is it? Dwyer going to strictly at the net, and he almost scored. Wow. He has... He has put the skates on and rocked through that guys. And Perot tripped on his stick or somebody's stick. And then he the other fell over and it's a goal! Wow, that was an easy goal. Holy shit. That was so easy. Look, look, look. Easily, just easy pass to Andreas Null or Null, how you pronounce it. That that one, that is one of the few names I don't know how to pronounce. But wow, I, I, in the in the NHL 13, it's so weird sometimes. I feel some of the goals just what? West guard. Loses the puck. Erskine up to Beagle. Gets a fair, fair, and it's a good block there. Hendricks almost taking the defender there. Fair with it. Standing tall. Back to Erskine. And it's a lucky bounce. I think it hits his own player and ends up on Be Beagle stick, I believe. Yes. Jay Beagle gets the tying goal. After uh, who was that? Gleason or Harrison? Maybe I think it was Harrison. I I didn't catch who got the block there, number forty-four in Carolina. I apologize for not knowing the name of that one, but that was such a lucky bounce. By That's why you should always try and put pucks at the net. You never know what's gonna happen, and just as that shown 
There. That happened. Well, that was the dumbest sounding explanation ever. Yeah, that happened. He almost scored. Because he put the net. He, he shot at the defender. He should be shot. You don't try to shoot people. You try to score goals. <laughs> what the? That wasn't even a tackle for fuck's sake. He just fell over. What the hell? The amazing physics of... Okay, McBain was it that did a nice block there. Stall with it. Going directly at the net, but that turned over to Alexi. Got it to Perro. Who gets it to Jansson and it's a save by... It's a score by Ellis. <laughs> Yay! The goal is scored! Ellis with a great glove handling score. He scored that in his hand so hard. Another face off. Who will win? Backstrom, who won 14 to 0 face off against the Rangers recently. Oh shit, why didn't Holtby go out and take that puck? Why did he stay? He was clearly going to be first to that puck, easily. But um, he chose not to. Who, know, who knows why? Somebody does. Welsh to McBain. And it's a great glove save by Holtby. Braden Holtby, who uh, everyone saying is the number one goal and is the one that is the the possibly goalie for a long time in the future. I will uh, let that be as it is at the moment. I um, don't, really don't know what I believe, think about it, but uh, yeah, I, I, you, I like Neuver. Oh shit, what the hell was that puck loss? Holy shit! That could have almost been a great goal there from the Capitals. Not a very entertaining first period so far. You got two, one goal each, two goal each, one goal each, and uh, yeah, fr frankly, it's it's not much unexpected game. It's one lucky goal and one really poor defending goal because that's frankly too easy to score a goal that way that I mean what the hell was that marking on the first on Carolina's goal seriously can you tell me because I frankly I have no idea why they I mean honestly just going around there and easily pass the puck that easy should it shouldn't be that easy. To lose the That's more like a passing play I can understand. Corvo I believe. Corvo pricks it up. Gets it to Gleason. To Eggstall. To Gleason. Gleason dumps that one in with Tremendously careful precision. It's so amazing. It's like a floating butterfly with butter on his wings. What the hell was that? Why did he get to do that so easily? Skinner, Skinner. Scoot, sh scoots it. Scoots it. He scoots it. He scoots it. Chimera to Brower. To Shimera again! And he dumps it at one in! Or scoots it! Skinner! Shimera got it! Folk! 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 And he hits uh, Caps! Wire! Back to. And it's a goal! It's a deflection! The goal. 
And he skated that one in. Wow. Look at that heel. What a nice back heel. Yes. Stare that one in beautifully. Jordan Stahl with a great shooting skills with his skates. He defected that in purposely, fully. Wow, I'm losing words every second now. I'm, I'm having memory loss. What am I doing here? Why is Harrison shooting? Who is Harrison? That's a Carolina player. And now we will have not an... Yes, we will have an icing. Because Harrison went straight at that puck. And he, with that determination, he decided, I will be first to that puck. That puck will never conquer me. And that Capitals player over there won't be first. I am the puck getter. Woo! I'm sorry, but this is the commentary I have in this game because I don't know. It's just... This game having nothing really, it's not having no feeling into it. Something needs to happen. I need to start chanting for the teams. Let's go Ovi. Ovechkin is the best player ever. Woo! Go Ovechkin. We believe you can actually score goals. I didn't mean that in a bad gleeful way. I meant it. Carolina, we got two Stall brothers. Haha, <laughs> then somebody. In. But the best Stall brothers in the Rangers. Shut up. Everybody knows that Eric is the best one. Another Carolina. No, Jordan Stall is the best one. He's clearly the best brother of the old Stall brothers. Shut up. They're all great. Now just look at the match instead. And so. It is declared that Yuji Jokinen is the best star brother of all because he's from Finland is and he's not a star because that makes more sense to it all. He got adopted, you know. <laughs> the stalls needed more players. They're taking over the whole league soon. We all, everybody will be named Stahl. And every commentator will. And it's a pass from Stahl the first. And it was another puck for there from Stahl the second. And there's Jordan Stahl. He actually have a first name. It's amazing. He's not a number. All hail one of the first Stahls. All hail the Stahls. All hail the Stahls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is too much fun. Erskine with a puck. And they are battling hard in the corner. McBain, he shoots it. And McBain has four. Then who the hell has number 44? There must be Harrison. I. Then I was right in the first place. Why the hell did I think it was. You're confusing me. Oh, it's because it's a power play. Okay. That deflection was awful. Semin, you know better than that. And it's another deflection! But it's no goal. Wow! Reporter down the by <laughs> it's, a, it's a goal for Carolina 
And it's the unwanted stall brother who's the best of them all. And wow, that puck conversion there from All Snow. Wow, that is terrible. <laughs> he must have tried to hit Pierre Maguire. Maybe he's at the rink. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't that funny. But <laughs> Bowman goes straightly at the net, but hope he will be safe. He don't got it. He breaks his stick and we have a shot from Hendricks and it's a save by Alice. Um. <laughs> oh, this is just too fun. Uh, Sanguetti with a puck. To Semen. Over to Toulouse. Can he do something with it? And it's a pass to stall and he almost got that one in the net. Wow, that puck got straight through. How surprising. Hungry, try our restaurant for with great <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Laughs longer your life. Think about that, folks. No. Go, Capitals! You can still win this one. You're only down 3 1. But then you have to start winning face offs. Because Carolina have won most of the face offs. To lose to win it. And. He goes straight at the net. Nothing happens. Ovechkin has it. Olsner. To Ovechkin. He digs. And nothing happens really from Ovechkin. Really he should um, score Ovechkin. If he knows better he needs to score. Backstrom wins it to Schultz, who shoots and it's a nice save by Ellis. McBain over to Skinner. Skinner has it, Skinner has it. And he loses the puck easily. Pody to Backstrom to Brower. Brower with it. Brower, Brower shoots and it's a spectacular, not so spectacular save. That was bloody easy. He just took the hit, said, said, I have a bullseye at my chest. I am Superman. No, he's, he's a good backup goalie, Ellis. Nothing more, really. And it's Carolina's puck. Wallace gets it up. And nobody attacks him. Back to Bain. To Noodle. He's got some noodles. He got some noodles. We all like to eat some noodles. He's from Austria. He likes some noodles. He have also played for the Flyers. That much I know about Noodle. And he all have also scored a goal in this game. If you all like to see that, you can wind back the clock to where the hell he scored. And look at that easy goal. Or wait. Until the ending highlights. Maybe we'll see it there. And Simon blasted off. Semin who... Frankly, he should be glad that he, he don't know that much English, because the opinions of some pers personalities about him, wow, wow, frankly, they, they're not kind words, let's say that, but what I've seen so far, he looks 
like he's taking more responsibility and try to change at least. And that's even though he can't change how he is, he, he can at least try, try to at least take more responsibility, like he did in the playoffs last season for uh, Washington. But um, when the free agent signing was about to start again, he got chewed up on a steal. We all have our opinions with Semin, but um, for me it's like this. Apparently, everyone's saying that that type of player is extremely toxic to a dressing room because he doesn't do the job, he doesn't do the effort, he just try to get breakaways or score goals or whatever but I, I think really that type of a player should exist as well because I mean all the goals he have had for uh, capitals must have counted for something even though in the playoffs earlier when they were an offensive juggernaut he didn't show up okay I admit that those are the type of times he should take an exception to himself and be a more, more hard working player because it's you need to because as the referee lets everything it makes harder to get penalties and honestly you have to be very much tougher when in, in the playoffs even if you are a you have to be ready to take the job and uh, be that type of a player. Well, anyway, that's just my opinion to it all. You can hate Samuel for all you, you like. I'm not going to hate on him. If he wants to be that type of a player, he can be that. As least, at least in the regular season. If he only keeps up and score goals, then what the fuck. You can accept that. But... Uh, if he, if he at least score more goals than his line is letting in. He have to have that kind of ratio. And how the fuck did he miss that one? Seriously? Stall. Seriously. Jordan. It was a straight ahead shot. But uh, they got the penalty for some reason. I didn't... I mean, the penalties in NHL 13 looks hilarious. I mean, what the hell is that? That's no penalty. And it's a shot by Alsner. What the hell? He went for breakaway. McBain. He misses the open net. Noodle. What the fuck? Are you serious? You don't get it! You're rough! <laughs> what the hell? How hard can it be to put it in the net so close to it? Seriously! Just relax and don't shoot it so hard. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, not this wasn't that thrilling game like, uh, what was it? New York Rangers, Philadelphia? That one was bloody amazing, if you tell me. Holy fuck, that one was great. But uh, that's uh, that skate deflection was something right, and also that turnover. Oh my god! Why didn't don't I say turnover, man? I miss most takeaways. Sound like some kind of dinner. Hmm. I want some takeaway. You have some licorice pucks. Yes, it's right there on the ice. Well, anyways, I, I can I can literally talk for hours, supposedly. So, this game ended in a 3-1 win for the Carolina Hurricanes. And, uh, well, it's not much to say about it. Carolina was the better team. And uh, the Capitals aren't good at this year.
They need a trade. I stick by that statement. They need a trade. So, I'm Crown, and this is Crown the NHL as usual. Have a great night, and a good evening, and a great tomorrow, and great forever. Bye.